Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, we are going to learn about a new technique that we can use to do subdomain enumeration. So before going to this video, as always, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you that how we can find some dangerous JavaScript methods and some endpoints using a very new uh, plugin inside Burp Suite, then go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. And also, if you are new to our channel and then don't know about our website, which is bepractical.tech, then let me tell you guys that you are missing a lot of things. Just go and type bepractical.tech in your browser and you will be redirected to this awesome website right over here. And as you can see, we have this lab section where we are offering account takeover labs based on real world scenarios totally free right so if you're interested then go ahead and practice all all these labs and we also have the jwt labs so if you're interested in exploitation of jwt tokens then go ahead and check and solve all of these labs right and now with that being said let's get started so if you're new to our channel then i think you all are not aware about all the reconnaissance methodologies that i, that I did in the previous a uh, few videos right so there we have learned so many techniques about how we can do subdomain enumeration we learned about the permutation and combinations and so many interesting stuffs right so you can check out the playlist of the reconnaissance and you'll get to know what this uh, thing is all about right so in this video we are going to focus mainly on the subdomain part from the github uh repositories right so you'll see that in github we have so many data right so many data related to the projects related to the software programs that are you know developed for the company like there are some developers who have just left the subdomains that we can use to find uh, more interesting information right so for that we are going to use a tool which is known as github subdomains something like that so let's see how we can use this tool first thing first let's go to google and there let's type github subdomains like this and here this one you have to click on this very first link and if you don't want to search on google it's fine you can just go ahead and uh, clone this repository into your uh, local kali linux okay so let's just copy this for now and now let's try to open our kali linux right over here let's wait for a few seconds so it's given me this error why it's giving me this error is quite simple because you know we haven't installed the wsl part over here what we can do is we can just uh log in to my vps let me just log in real quick so sh root underscore my vps just provide my password and let me just create a new directory let's say uh github subdomains and let's go to github subdomains yeah so all of these things that we're doing on this particular vps you can follow this same step on any platform like kali linux parrot os ubuntu anywhere right so right now we're doing this on ubuntu so let's see how we can do that let's copy this and we can simply just type git clone and just paste it like this and we can now we can just wait for the cloning to be complete and once we have that we can just uh, go to github subdomains and then we need to build this main.go right so let's see how we can build this for that we need to install golang right so you can just go and type this golang so in my case i already have installed the newest version so we can just go and type go build main.go something like this and then we are good to go let's wait for a few seconds as you can see so we have successfully built the main file and we'll see we have this main file right over here we can just move this to the bin directory so that we can access this file from anywhere in the terminal we can type move main to bin gst github subdomain so let's hit enter and now if i type gst we'll see that we are getting all this data right which means that everything is working fine now the last thing that we need to do is we need to specify this minus t which stands for token which will be generated through your github account right so now we need to create a github account let's see how we can do that so you can just go ahead and click on the sign up right over here right so you can just uh, do all the you can just do fill all the forms and once you have that you can just click on the sign in and you will be you know redirect it to your github account here it is let's go to uh settings and then we need to go to the developer settings and over here we need to click on this uh, personal access tokens after that click on this token classic and then 
let's create a new token over here so we can just uh, create a new token classic so let's do this uh, yeah so it's asking me to provide my password once again so i'm just doing it right now and now you need to add a node and you need to select all the access that that particular token will have so i'm just going to add uh, bug bounty just for the demonstration part i'm going to select only the repo and then we'll click on this generate token so let's generate this and we have this token right over here i can just copy this now and now we are good to go now we will be able to use this tool without any issues so let me just clear this and let's try to use this tool on bbc.com just for the demonstration so gst right this is the name of the tool that we have renamed to and we can specify minus t let's paste the domain sorry domain first so uh b pvc.co.uk just for the demonstration and then we can simply go and type minus t and we can just provide the token like this right let's hit enter let's see what happens after that now let's wait a few seconds and as you can see this is the keyword right over here so you see that we are getting a lot of subdomains right over i'm just going to stop it right now and we'll see that this query was being used right this one as you can see over here so there's this uh q stands for the query parameter and we have this uh, github doc you can say similar to the google docs we have github docs and we have this delay as well so we didn't have to worry about anything we can just go ahead and type uh instead of bbc.co.uk let's go ahead and try out uh nokia.com just for the demonstration nokia.com let's hit enter let's wait a few seconds and again we are seeing that we're getting bunch of data right from this uh the github uh platform right we'll see we have bunch of subdomains like developers.nokia.com uh, so uh, apart from that we're also getting the repo right the repo which is you know exposing all these subdomains so i'm just going to stop it for now so this is how we can you know uh find subdomains using github subdomains so it's an awesome tool so if you are interested then go ahead and add this tool into your bug bounty methodology it will be very fruitful for you I, i'm guaranteeing it right so just go ahead and install this tool into your machine and let me know if you have doubts let me know if you have any issues and if you are new and if you don't know about our telegram channel then again you are missing a lot of things just go and join our telegram channel the link will be displaying over here as well as you can just go to the description and you will just find the telegram link from there right apart from that if you like the way i teach then i am currently run running two courses you can check them out so it, they will be displaying right over here so if you are interested then the link is of uh, the link of both of these courses are also given in the description so please go ahead and check them out if you want to and now with that being said keep learning keep hacking and thanks for watching